Today, we are swapping our Volkswagen 2001 long wheelbase LT35 camper van for this 4x4 off-road epic camper truck. We've been living in our van full time for the past two months traveling around Wales. This is the first time in months that we are sleeping anywhere that is not a trusted Elton. We will show you a full tour of this bad boy, which is three times smaller than our van, as well as what it's like living in it because it's our tiny home for the next few nights. We are in Banai Brecheniog National Park, which is Brecabika's National Park, which was a perfect setting for the most epic wild camper truck you will ever see. Look at the backdrop. Oh, I mean, how much does it match Banai Brecheniog? This is such, such a cool van, truck, vehicle. Oh my God, we've got so many people giving us like, <laughs> like this. We've been driving past and you see them going, get my phone, get my get phone, phone out, take a picture. Filming. It's like, yeah, you feel cool driving this. I'll tell you that much for free. It's an absolute beast. And look at the number plates. Be wild. It's pretty cool. This is a 2.2 six speed Ford Ranger, an absolute unit of a car, 18 inch rims. That's why it looks so monstrous, but it does mean that it's much easier to drive it around because it does have a lot more bang for your buck when it comes to wheel, <laughs> but also power and pretty much everything else it seems like in comparison to Elton. <laughs> First of all, extremely comfortable. It looks very suave, looks very nice. It's got all the sort of high-tech little bits and bobs that you would want. The buttons, the aircon, the heating, the cooling, separate from driver to passenger, which is brilliant because Dylan's always really hot and I'm always really cold. <laughs> There's five seats in this truck, which is two more than we have in Elton. It's four-wheel drive, so you can take this pretty much off-road anywhere you're allowed to. You obviously have to have a bit more of a landowner's permission if you're gonna go off-roading and shredding it up, but it totally, totally can. Driving this truck is such a breeze and definitely different to driving our long wheelbase camper van. It's a lot more agile to say the least and much easier to find a parking spot. That'll do. That'll do. That's nice. Home for the night. Oh, I love it. All right, I think this will be our spot for the night. We've packed a little bit off-road, you know, just because we can with these 18-inch uh, tires. But look how cool this truck is. And I don't know if you've noticed, but the truck doesn't just end here or start here. It actually starts here. I'll, for measure, I'll climb up. So, if you are 160 centimeters or five foot two and a half, that's what I am, you would quite comfortably fit in here. I have quite a lot of headspace, but we'll show you the inside in a sec. But even Dill does fit. Can you help me down? I don't want to accidentally land in some sheep poop. Because this is an off-road truck, it does come with a few attachments, just in case you need them when you're going a bit off-road. This here, is in case you get stuck in a lot of mud. So you put these underneath your tires to get out. You have an ax here. If you want to chop up some wood, I don't know when you would be needing to do that. Uh, but yeah, you can do that. There is an awning that comes in here. We've got the poles inside, but today is a very gray day here again in Wales. So we're probably not gonna be sat outside in this truck because Adriana is freezing here already. I am freezing. <laughs> I want to go inside and put the heater on. There's a nice gas heater in there. And then on this side, you have another one of these for the other tire if you get stuck and a spade, which would be very, very useful, I think, if you did get stuck. Oh yeah, 100%. This is definitely made to go in some places that our trusted Elton cannot go. <laughs> I have never felt this tall before, but let me tell you some of the things that are here on the back of this camper truck. So first, we've got this little bad boy. This is for the gas stove that's just inside. So there's a proper sort of kitchen area in there. You can cook hot food, which is crazy. Here, we've got the 
mains electric hookup, which we won't be using today. That would be more if you're going to a campsite. And today we're off gridding. On this side, we've got diesel for the heater for the inside, which I'm very much looking forward to turning on. I need to put that on ASAP. <laughs> because I am cold. Although it's not that cold in there, it's just the wind. But either way, popping this on. Then we've got one of the many floodlights that's on the side of this vehicle. This is where you fill up all your fresh water, which means that you can drink inside, you can wash your dishes, you can do whatever you need to in that sense. And here, you can do what you need to do in a more personal sense because it is a shower. So either you've been off-gridding, going crazy, and it's super muddy, or you just wanna clean yourself off. There we go. I don't wanna hose you down. Should I turn it on? You probably wouldn't be stood there if you were having a shower, but you'd probably be on the floor. <laughs> yeah. Wait, hold on. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> so we rented this truck from wildcampertrucks.com, but you can actually win a three night stay in this camper truck. Now, all you have to do is head to Instagram, follow Wild Camper Trucks on Instagram, look at the photo that we posted in collaboration with them and share it to your story. That's it, that's it. And then you can win three nights also for good measure, but this is not part of the competition. Also follow us on Instagram. <laughs> but literally, let's head inside, it is freezing. <sighs> Oh. Welcome! The noise that you're hearing is the heater. It's on! Right, let me give you a cute little tour from this area of this wild camper truck. Now already you could probably see that it's much bigger than you'd expect and there's storage slotted in here, there, everywhere. There's a lot more space than you would think. Yeah, we have full dining table that actually stays here and becomes part of the bed that we'll show you later because the bed doesn't stay quite like this. This sofa really surprised me because it's technically a size for two people, whereas that one, mm, you could squeeze into, but it's probably for one. But this place has a lot of storage and let me go through it with you. First, we have some, if you move this pillow, you can easily get to this bad boy. It goes really far in. Look, I'm all the way in. <laughs> That's empty, obviously, we can pop our stuff in there. It's not in there right now. Then, oh, speaking of moving pillows, we've got more storage underneath there. Right now, it is eco-friendly cleaning supplies and shower gel, conditioners, things like that. Now, I've got to be honest with you guys, I don't think we're going to have a shower outside today. It's so cold. It's so cold, but we can if we want to. Another piece of storage here. You also have more storage. Ta -da! This table comes apart so you can take it out and fold it and underneath here as you can see there there is even more storage but right now I think this just kept the grey water in there. Yeah which is emptied by this super simple solution. Now in Elton we haven't really shown you in detail how we have to empty the water but it's basically just inside our kitchen we have to actually take out our grey water tank, take it for a walk and pour it out somewhere. Whereas here, press that. And that empties the waste tank, which is empty right now. <laughs> this camper truck has six windows. So that's a lot more than our Elton has. Our Elton has two windows. Mm -hmm. So here you've pretty much got 360 degree view of where you're parked. Each window comes with a couple of attachments. Now, if you wanted to just shade things down, have no one look in, or if the window was open, you didn't want any bugs around town, you would close that one, but you can also wow. close that one. It's gonna be so dark in here tonight. We're gonna sleep like babies, but right now I wanna see, but if I wanted to open the window, I can do that too. <sighs> There's no one out there to say hello to, but a whole lot of sheep. <laughs> Around the whole camper truck, there are these touch lights. So there's one there, there's one here. Oop. There's one here in the kitchen. I can stand up fully in here. So it's about the same height as our camper van. Yeah, it's really sizable for me actually. But I think if we had to live in this thing, 
it'd be very, 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 very cozy. So this right by the main entrance of the camper truck is the, the kitchen area and it's the only place that I can stand up in fully. We have a, another storage unit here with bowls, utensils, pots and pans, the knives and forks, tea towels. This van is pretty much fully kitted out for you. You don't need to bring anything with you really. Down here under this piece of black glass, we have the water tap, which we don't have loads of, so we're not gonna waste that. And we have the gas stove here. So it's a bit of a two in one system to kind of save space. Got some more storage here, which is completely empty. So, you know, if you bring a few stuff with you, you can pop them in there. A few plugs here and there. There's some USB plugs down here as well. And in here is what powers this whole van, which is a 95 amp hour lead acid battery. And this is powered by solar as well. Also by the door here is the fridge. Now it is confined in here, but the space is also utilized very, very well. The fridge is quite big, not quite as big as in our Elton, but bigger than you'd expect in this camper truck. And it's got a little freezing section. Brilliant. And everything that powers and controls everything important is right here on this control bad boy. Panel. The control panel. This is probably the most important control panel for me because it's the heater. So with this control panel, you can turn the 12 volts on, which means that you can turn the lights on and off. You can also see how much water you have left. You can see how much solar you have left. You can see how much gray water is in your gray water tank and turn on the floodlights. That was with this one, right? Yeah. Should I try it? Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's oh, so yeah. bright. <laughs> yeah. I would say this is the piece de resistance of this camper truck because even though you are fully in a truck, there is a fully sized bed. Now, this is not folded out to its full potential. There is another slice of mattress that goes here when you fold these out and we'll show you that this evening when we jump in there, but it is huge. I think this is the perfect vehicle to be sort of one with nature. Elton feels a lot more like a home and you can almost sometimes forget that you're in a camper and then you open it and you think, oh yeah, <laughs> I'm in a field. Whereas here it's like, I literally, here I'm, I can see a sheep. I'm looking at a sheep here. Can I see any sheep? I can see a sheep through that window. Can I see one through this one? Oh, three. You're one with nature. Wonderful. Cooking in this small space is quite the challenge compared to our Elton, but it does the job for a weekend away. Who can say no to a simple sausage sandwich anyway? There we have it. Ignore. The mess there. <laughs> you can't see it if you sort of... Angle. Here we have it, dinner in a van. It's very difficult to cook there compared to our uh, our own camper van, but the job's a good one. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Cute place to have dinner. Yeah, it's not a bad setup, is it? Because you got, you have got table, mm -hmm. full on seat here. You've mm -hmm. got probably another space for someone else yeah, there yeah, if yeah. you needed to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's it's a bit small, but it's just the right size, I think. I think it uses the space in a very good way. The space that it does have. Well, originally, I didn't think I could stand up in here. But I can definitely stand up. Mm-hmm. Mm. Down. Yeah. With a small space like this, we've realized like in our van, you have to keep things tidy and clean. Otherwise, it just, it's just chaos in here. So, <laughs> this is tidy. There we go. And now, I think the next job for tonight is to set up that bed. Oh yeah. Making the bed every night is not something we're used to, as we have a fixed bed in our own camper van but we also haven't slept in a bed as big as this one in forever. Holy guacamole, I have to get in like now. Whoa. Wow, lot of space. That's huge. <laughs> the 
how much leg room you've got. Oh. oh, it's so strange not being able to touch the wall with my feet. Wow, this is... It's a little bit more cramped to sit though. I, <laughs> I have to say, I can't quite sit, sit up which we can in Elton. It'll be interesting to see how we sleep here because it's the first time in months that we're sleeping anywhere else and it's in this crazy vehicle thing. Oh, sorry, sorry, no, wait, stop, stop, stop. The socks are stuck on your back, okay. Oh, oh. yeah. Right? Oh, I can actually stretch out. Oh, that's nice. It is nice, isn't it? Yeah. Good night. Mm. You want to say good night? Good night. Sleep well. <sighs> good morning. That was a very nice sleep. We are really up in the mountains here. We're properly in a cloud. <laughs> Literally all you can hear is the sheep. You know, what I do like about this camper van is you can take it to a lot more places than you could a van. Like yesterday before we packed up here, we drove around there just to see what was there. Because I knew if I was get if I was to get stuck, I could just put it in four-wheel drive and take it, you know, take it out. But I feel like in a van, and definitely in our van, which is a big, long wheelbase, six meter long van, I would be scared to take it that way, just in case I couldn't reverse out. But with this, you have so much more confidence to go pretty much wherever you want to go. And I saw that this piece of grass yesterday was flat. So I was like, okay, let's drive onto it, because I can drive off tomorrow easy. I'm not gonna get stuck. And look how cool it looks. It's time to turn this bedroom back into a living room and make a nice warm coffee to start the day off right. I really like this van, you know, or this camper truck. I feel like it's the perfect truck for a weekend, I would say. You've actually got a full-size bed. There's a shower if you do activities. You can go pretty much anywhere. It's got a fridge. If, you're, if you don't mind being in such a small space, it's perfect. 